Welcome back to the Cobra Trading Channel, everyone. Today we have Michael from Das Trader Pro, who's going to be showing you how to set up your Das Trader platform. Michael, take it away. Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial provided to you by Das Trader in conjunction with Cobra Trading. Now, today in this video tutorial, we're going to be introducing you to the Dash Trader Pro platform. Now, the windows that we're going to be focusing on are listed right under here in the trade window at the top menu of your Dash Trader Pro platform. The windows we're going to be talking about today is the market montage, the accounts window, the positions window, specifically the positions window with closed positions the orders window, the trades window, and then again, we're gonna be going into detail a little bit with the market montage, the time and sale, which is under the quotes window, the market viewer, here's the time and sales, and of course, your chart window as well. Now, these are the main windows that you need to get started with the Dash Trader Pro platform. Previously, I did a SIM trade on NVIDIA. And I'm just going to bring up the chart in NVIDIA NVDA to take a look at what we did. Now, here is our chart, our 15-minute chart of NVIDIA, our one-minute chart of NVIDIA, our time and sales, our market montage, which has level one data, as well as our order entry screen. Here is our market viewer, which currently I have slightly minimized, but I can extend that out just by pulling the top of the window. And here I have my trades that I took, my orders, my positions, and then of course, all the information relating to my account. Now, anytime you want to move a window, you just need to grab the top band of the window and reposition it on the screen wherever you'd like to put it. If you'd like to right click on it on the top band, you can remove the title bar, hit OK. Now there's no longer a title bar at the top of that window. That gives you a little bit of extra screen space. If I want to re re restore the title bar, I hit OK. And there you go. The title bar is restored. Now you right click on any window and you can bring up the, the little menu and go to configure. And then you can configure the look and feel of that particular window any way you'd like. You can change the colors, adjust the columns. I'm just going to go down to where you adjust the columns. And you can see you can add columns, remove columns. And there's lots of different options for you to configure that particular window. Now, on my trade earlier today in, in NVIDIA, I have a lot of information that's listed in my positions window. It tells me what the current bid and ask is. It tells me whether the position is open or closed. In this case, it is a closed position and there was a realized gain of $440, SIM dollars. If I have an open order, let's say I'm going to put a, a, a trade on and I want to potentially purchase NVIDIA if it pulls back again. I can put an order out and I just do that by selecting the, uh, the, the market montage. Let's say I want to bid for it. I'm going to bid for it at 122 spot 81. I don't want a thousand shares. I'm only gonna buy a hundred shares and I'm gonna hit buy. And there my order is now entered into the system, a 100 share buy order to buy NVIDIA at 102 spot 81. It tells me the time that I placed the order. And again, I can configure that any way I'd like. So I have all the information that I need. Now, this order will probably not get filled as we're coming to the end of the day. And NVIDIA is surging to the upside. But needless to say, you can see that your order has been entered into the system. And it, it would be executed if the price passed the price of the limit order. Let's take a look at some of my trades from earlier in the day. And I have all my trade history on NVIDIA. Now, if I want to see the time, I can just double click on the divider between the time and the symbol. Double click. Now I see the full time data. Double click on the symbol. I see NVIDIA's name in full, the blue orders and trades. Actually, I just got filled on this. 
So I just got filled on this uh, SIM order at 122 spot 81. I'm currently up about $2. And I'm going to put a limit order to sell, let's just say near the top of this bar. So I'm going to take a look with my crosshair tool. I'm going to put it out at 123 spot 18. I'm going to just tab up. 123 spot 18. Type it in. And I'm just going to put out a sell order. And there you go. I just made a scalp trade in NVIDIA here at the end of the day, in the end of the day volatility. And you can see my order of 122 spot 81 executed on our SIM, a very, very accurate and excellent SIM trading system that gives real good feel for using the platform. It's a great way to learn the platform before you start trading with real money. And I put out a trade to buy at 122 spot 81, and I executed my order to sell at 123 spot 18. Now, using the system is fairly easy, straightforward, and direct. Here is your order entry screen at the bottom of your market montage. Right next to my market montage, I have a time and sales window. And you can see that because it's the end of the day, the markets are really moving. At the top of my market montage, I have a level one window. Just above that, I have my market viewer. All of these windows have previously been linked using the anchor. Now the anchor allows me to just click on whatever stock I'd like to look at in the market viewer, and it will bring up that stock symbol into all of the windows that I have in focus. But since I've been trading the video today, I'm gonna keep watching that one. And I'm going to minimize this a little bit so I can see a little bit more of my trades. Now, earlier today, I can see all of my trade history in my trades window. In the trades window, I have the time that I executed the trade, the buy or sell, the price, the quantity, and the route that it was executed on. It also tells me the account. This is a training account. This training account is set to trade like a margin account for me to get a realistic feel for the trading platform. So here in my trades window, I see all my executions through the simulated trading platform. If I want to place another trade, I certainly can do so just by putting in the price that I'd like to buy it. I'm going to do 100 shares. I'm going to do it way down because I don't want to get executed at this point. And I'm going to hit buy. Now my order is accepted. Now that little X next to my order allows me to cancel the order. So all I have to do is click X with my mouse and that order is canceled. Now, if I want to place that order again, I just hit buy again. Since my order entry screen is still loaded, I click buy and my order has been replaced back out there. Okay. Now I have my positions window with closed positions showing me $477 green realized profit. I have my account information, which shows my buying power, my initial equity, my overnight BP. I have my order window, which shows my one open order. I have my trades window, which shows all of my trading activity for the day. And of course, I have my market viewer if I want to check out other stocks. I have my market montage, my OES, and my time and sales window. I also have my five minute chart of NVIDIA here, but I'm gonna change it back to a one minute as we're getting into the very, very close of the day and things really start speeding up as you can see as we get towards the end of the day's trading. Needless to say, NVIDIA is skyrocketing back towards the high of the day. And you can see that because I have a 15 minute chart here just above my one minute chart and I have a five minute chart of NVIDIA as well, right next to my one minute chart. And then of course I have the whole day's worth of information right here as well. So all the information that I need is, is right here at my fingertips for easy accessibility and trading. Now we're gonna be doing more of these video tutorials that will show you each of the intricacies of the windows that we talked about today. But this tutorial should help you get started in navigating your Dash Trader Pro platform brought to you by Cobra Trading. 
Trade well, everybody, and see you next time. Michael, thank you so much for showing everyone today on how to set up their Dash Trader Pro so that way when they open a Cobra trading account, they can get started right away. And remember, like and subscribe to this video because we will have more videos coming out in the future.